who educates me, who gives me information, just like you have about vegans and, and all yoga and all of the things. Um, and I, your story just reminded me as you talk about vegans that, you know, she, <laughs> I have to tell this when I was in New York and I think this was the last summer trip. I've been a couple of times since then. Um, we were on the Staten Island ferry. Uh-huh. So she was like, we have to go on the ferry. I got to show you this thing. You know, she's the best hostess ever. And somehow there was, a, it was late and there was a guy that, and we'd had a couple of cocktails who, I don't know even how it happened, but somehow the climate conversation happened <laughs> between he and she. And it was getting more and more serious. And I was like, I'm on vacation, man. This is I'm like over, man. <laughs> and we're in the middle of the fucking water. And I'm like, I, I'm not sure where this is going to go. So I'm just going to step over here to the railing and watch the Statue of Liberty go far away <laughs> while you guys have your discussion. I turn around and she's like bent down with her hands on her knees and hit in his face. Oh like as God. close as this microphone. And she's like giving him the what's what about climate. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Oh my and he was like um I I he just reminded me of like what was that show the New Jersey show that it was a reality show that Jersey was, show. Yes. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> yes. And I'm like I don't know who's going to punch who first. Oh my god. But somebody's going to get a black eye <laughs> and possibly end up in the river <laughs> right now. <laughs> And I say this out of love because I appreciate the passion that somebody has behind a cause, yes. right? And a lot of people who are vegan, for example, have that passion. But I also appreciate that she and you and I have this uh, this knowledge that baby steps. For I yeah, mean, you're never going to convince somebody. Right. With in the convincing. Lecturing. Exactly. You just not. But I came back from the Staten Alley Ferry and I was like, I'm gonna get a compost bin for under my sink <laughs> and I'm gonna get rid of my curry coffee machine. <laughs> I'm gonna start <laughs> doing like French press. And to your point, I I think that some steps and I'm not saying that maybe it always has to just be some steps, but there's not a reason why we have to point our fingers at the people who aren't perfectly vegan no. or perfectly like solving all of the climate climate issues or or whatever and like those who are making efforts and if we can ripple that out that's that's a thing like that can yeah. be a thing totally um, so so i think i mean i think the interesting thing is so my my ex when i met him at the dawn of time um wait where at the dawn of time, it was like so many years ago. But he was like, is such, that a Danish thing? No, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but he was such a he, he was such a meat eater. I mean, he ate so much meat. So was I actually. I was, we we were eating meat every every goddamn day. Of our oh, he's eating all the meat. Oh, eating all the meat. And as I slowly began, oh, okay, I mean, maybe like not eat meat every day. And instead of saying it's like you cannot eat meat anymore, I started like really working on finding really good recipes that didn't contain meat. He probably didn't know the difference. When he <laughs> kind <ate it>. of, <laughs> exactly. It's like, so he still felt he had a full meal and it just slowly like became more and more. So it became like twice a week. We don't eat meat to so four times a week. We don't eat meat. So the interesting thing is now that he is fully vegan. <laughs> awesome. Way more vegan more than, than you. <laughs> way more vegan than me. <laughs> Which is hilarious. <laughs> but but it just does. I mean, if I had just been lecturing and and telling and oh, this is how it is, yeah. it, it would just been a resistance and an totally. annoyance, and mm-hmm. and you're just never going to get very far with that. And also back to the point that you made of three kids, <laughs> because like people are like children in the sense that you try to shove something down their throat and they're just going to resist, right? Yeah. Just like children. So yes, you don't. It's, need it's that. like I don't. I don't make my kids do yoga. So, Do they love it though? No. Do they, no? I don't think I'm retarded. I mean, oh, they, they think I'm stupid. That's Am funny. I su- sorry. I said the R word. I know oh, I'm not supposed to. Whatever. Don't judge me. I was talking about myself. <laughs> I don't, I feel that's okay. Yeah, whatever. Um, we get it. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, my, my kids don't do yoga. And they. So funny that you say that because you're the yoga expert. 
I am not, but my son, who's five, um, so you mentioned that you do instruction on on the subscription thing, yeah. right? So he asked me, and I was, I, I mean, maybe I was a sucker, but generally speaking, I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. You know, we have Apple TV. Yeah. And there's the yoga app, whatever the, whatever the yeah, basic yeah. one is that Apple has. And he was like, I want to do yoga, mom. And I have this giant bedroom, which is fucking amazing for blowjobs <laughs> 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 and all blow the jobs and yoga <laughs> <laughs> and yoga. And, oh, that's a good title. We should just name this blowjobs jobs and, and yoga. yoga. <laughs> we need to get a yoga screen um, involved in this. Totally. So I subscribed and my five-year-old will get up in the morning and he'll be like, I want to do yoga, mom. And so I'll get in the shower and he'll sit in front of the TV <gasps> and he amazing. will do like a yoga, a yoga thing. And I'm like, Holy shit. I'm watching, he rolls out the mat and he, <laughs> he just like, but I mean, that would be a dream and, come true for me. Right. But that's my point is like, I don't do yoga yeah. and I should, but my son is like all about it. You are the yoga instructor and yeah. your kids are like, fuck you. I'm out of yoga. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know what? My theory is that they're going to come around at some point because they've had it their whole lives. They had it. They've been surrounded by it. At some point, they're going to come to it. For sure. And me forcing them to do it is it's not, not going to help. help it's the same so. thing with language. My kids are bilingual um, and Fine. they refuse to actually speak Spanish when I, well, most of the time I know they can. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. We're just going to keep speaking it. I put like all of our, so we be predominantly watch Netflix and everything is in Spanish. Um, my son's father is from Spain. So he only speaks to him in Spanish. And I'm like, all right, fine. You speak your English. But when you're 18, yeah. what's going to happen is you're going to be like, oh, I see the value in a second language. Now I can speak it because my parents have been. Yeah. Showing that to me for the last that's the you know, same with 10 my or 18 kids. Years. I've spoken Danish to my kids since birth and they yeah. understand it all. Uh, my older one speaks a fair bit, my younger one less. Yeah. But you put them in a room with a couple of Danish kids who don't, who doesn't speak English. They they'll, figure it out. They figure it out real quick. Totally. So, Can you say something in Danish? Uh, what do you have to say? Let's say. Can you say this wine was really, really good? <laughs> the weather was <laughs> warm today and the wine was very good on this amazing podcast. <laughs> det var dejlig varmt i dag. Vi, den her vin er virkelig god. Og det her er en fantastisk podcast. <gasps> oh, that sounded so good. <laughs> <laughs> do, do I need to say it with my sexy voice? <laughs> say it with your lover voice. My lover. <laughs> oh my God, you're the best. I am going to wrap this up. And also I'm going to propose that we do this again, maybe with Andrea, because she's amazing. I feel we need Andrea amazing. Aboard, on board and I feel we need to drink more alcohol. Agreed. Which I have a full <laughs> bottle of bourbon, vodka, te- three bottles of tequila. Fuck yes. Yeah, we're fully stocked. I think there's beer in the fridge over there. So, we're, Oh, look, and there's six bottles of wine yeah. over there. I feel like we can have a really interesting conversation. Yeah, let's um, do it. With, with Andrea about life and sex in general. She's amazing. Also, I want to be mindful. I don't know. Actually, it's so funny. I want to make... <laughs> <laughs> We're all three business women in a small town. Yes. So this is a thing in which I'm I'm like trying to buck the system here, but I want to be who I am. Like I'm a great businesswoman and I take really good care of the members here and I love everything that they're doing and I will evangelize them until I die. Also, I'm a single woman who sits here and drinks wine with really cool women <laughs> and like I say F words and I talk about random shit. And with Andrea, I'm like, okay, but she's way more ingrained in the community than I am. I think, you know, like everybody knows her, but that's also, I mean, you own a restaurant. You have to be. Yeah. So and if you she sits here and drinks wine, yeah. is she really going to talk about blowjobs? I feel we can get enough wine in her. So why she does. <gasps> okay. We're going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do a couple shots. Uh, maybe first. cocktails. If we guess, if we, if we, we if should we, do an episode at Whisper Sisters. I was just about to say, we should do an episode at Whisper Sisters and get some cocktails in and do a recording there because that would be beyond hilarious. And I think, I think Whisper that's a Sisters great idea. would be into it. You think so? Yeah. All right. We're going to, we're going to figure that one out <laughs> for sure. 
thank you so much for being here. Thank I'm going to put me. all of your details in the show notes because I've had three glasses of wine and I'm probably not <laughs> going to remember. Them. Me too. But <laughs> this was so fun. This, these are the episodes in which I just don't want them to end. Like one of these days right. we're going to come in on a Saturday and we're just going to do it all day. Like a three just, hour podcast. <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, oh, my God, are they still doing it? There's a bunch of pissed women who are just like, cheers. <laughs> cheers to us. Thank you so much. Um, I, I'm going to put <laughs> – I said this already. I'm going to put it on the show notes. We're going to schedule Andrea for the three of us to come here. I really appreciate all your input. I want to cheers you Thank across you. the table. Cheers. And I'm going to turn the music on now. Hell yeah.